were really close to it, and then both sides converge. I wanted to get it. Uh, yeah, I wanted to get it all in. <laughs> um, but in, in general, um, you know, one one thing that that uh, I always find amazing in your work is that you're you're willing to put so many different um, textural and graphic effects in onto the same surface, which for I mean, many painters would regard that as some kind of horrible mistake, you know, to, to do that. And it's something that you've developed over a long yeah. period of time. Well, I think my apprenticeship was possibly uh, as a house painter. <laughs> I spent a lot of time painting houses when I was a teenager in my 20s, up until actually into my 30s too, just as sort of, you know, odd jobbing. And uh, I was working with two quite competitive house painters who were friends of mine. And so everyone wanted to be able to cut the lines really well <laughs> and brush, you know, brush in. Um, it was kind of, you had to make the most of painting white walls. <laughs> um, and, and especially when you're cutting, when you're painting um, trim in gloss and, you know, getting the mm. consistency of the paint right. I actually think, I just thought about it a lot when we were doing this wall painting, but um, I think I actually learned a lot from that type of painting before I ever sort of really got into making sort of painting painting. Yeah, you do. You do and I kind of fall back on it. I kind of enjoy that yeah. sort of. Um... You, you, do, you do often have, uh, I mean, certainly here, but in, um, in many of your paintings, you have a broad area somewhere yeah. which requires that kind of experience, I yeah. guess. And then I think that the important thing is, um, you know, areas of focus and out of focus in a painting. Mm. And I think that, um, I'm not just talking about my work, but I think lots, lots of paintings, you think you, 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 could, you, could, you could make a painting plausible by having areas of focus, and then you kind of have other areas that are completely out of focus, and they become sort of plausible in the corner of the eye because of the, a silhouette that might be somewhat accurate or uh, a detail. So like, uh, I mean, I know you've, you've talked recently about vo both Velazquez and Goya, where you pro we probably find that kind of effect of, yeah, I of mean, out of focus, focus. Yeah, I think it's in, in lots of paintings, but I was, I, I, I was uh, in the National Gallery in London uh, when they had a small Velazquez show and they had the, the Vulcan's Forge painting, where there's this kind of incredible sort of activity with these figures and uh, they're incredibly well painted. They look like sort of contemporary sort of Italian footballers. <laughs> but then to the left side of the painting, there's just this open space. And it's just like, I mean, it's actually like square meters of canvas that's just painted sort of, just very sort of liberally and openly. And if you actually just looked at that, you, 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 could, you couldn't possibly guess what it was. But it's made plausible by the attention to detail in the, in the where the action takes place. You know, I was thinking, uh, we were talking about uh, canvas, and your you you do use a you tend to use a a, a finer uh, you know probably linen canvas uh, for many of the paintings that are painted thinly. And um, is it uh, canvas that kind of induces you to? to some extent work that way, or you think you want to work that way, and so you look for the appropriate canvas? Well, I think making a painting is, is always, um, sounds a bit corny, but it's always a bit of a journey in a sense. And the painting, um, what results is determined by that, what happens on that, that journey of making. And um, the ground, the ground, the, paint, the canvas, um, it gives you things uh, that are unexpected. And uh, I really think that I, in the making of a painting, I react to um, what happens in the making, <laughs> if that makes sense. It's not, there's, never, there's never a thought like, well, this is what the painting's gonna look like when it's finished. Not one of the paintings is ever planned in that way. Um, so yes, the ground is, is very important. And as I say, the, the gift of the ground, the gift of, um, it might be late at night and you might sort of, um, you know, put a coat of, like with the painting you were talking about with the pink. I mean, I think I probably, probably very late at night, I probably got frustrated with the painting and I probably put a layer of, like a pink glaze over the whole painting. And mm. then I would lie on the ground, go home, 
and then you'd come back the next morning and you'd go, oh no, and you'd stand it up and then you'd wipe out areas and then you'd, uh, but it's not a planned process really. And then in a way, covering up the areas of pink that you don't want, that are too garish, it's always gonna be there somehow. There's always gonna be this